Hi everyone, you can create ball animation using Python Tikinter. We will rebuild the project from scratch together. You can subscribe to YouTube channel for more programming projects. I will use the Tikinter library to create a desktop window. I am creating a desktop window using the Tikinter function. I can display the window on the screen using the main loop function. We have created an empty desktop window. I create two variables to set window sizes. You can specify variable values as you wish. I determine the dimensions of the desktop window using the canvas function. I will send the variables I just created to the canvas function. I activate the canvas object with the peg function. We can adjust the size of the desktop window with this method. I am creating a class file to generate the balls. I will create a class in Python file. We will create and move objects in the class. I am creating a function to get started. The parameters sent to the function represent the physical properties of the ball object to be created. For example, we can set the color of the ball object with the color parameter. Also the X and Y parameters specify the position of the ball in the desktop window. I will synchronize the variables with set parameter. This way I can use the variables in other functions of the class. I will create ball objects using the create oval function. I set the physical properties of the function which we will determine later. I synchronize other parameters with self. I will use the generated class in the main code file. In order to use it, I transfer using import. Let's start creating the balls. Each parameter sent to the class specifies the physical properties of the ball, as I said before. I will create a total of 4 balls. If you have any questions about the parameters you can specify them in the comments. We created four different balls. Let's better understand what they do by changing a few parameters. For example, the third parameter sent to the function represents the diameter property. Let's see the difference by changing the value. The balls got a little bigger. I will create a move function to move the balls.
In the move function, I first need to access coordinates of the balls. I can do this using the coordinate function. I will create two if queries. With these queries, I can adjust the reaction of the ball when it hits the corner. For example, when the ball hits the vertical corners, I multiply the x-axis by minus 1 and reverse its direction. In the same way, when the ball hits the horizontal corners, I will multiply y axis by minus 1 and change its direction. You will understand the logic of if queries better when I run the functions again after deleting them. Finally, I call the move function. I will use a while loop so that the objects can move continuously. I call the move functions of the all balls. I am constantly updating the desktop window with update. The slip function represents the speed of objects. But first I need to transfer the time library to the project. The ball started to move. When it hits the corners at any moment, the objects start to move in the opposite direction. Let's get a better understanding of what they do by deleting if queries. They disappear without hitting the horizontal corners. The other if query also work for vertical corners. You can change the colors of the objects as you wish. Finally, you can change the window size as you wish. The project will continue to work in the same way. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can specify them in the comments. 
don't forget to follow the YouTube channel for more programming projects.